Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, I'm glad you're here. This afternoon we have another unboxing. This is a package I ordered and it came in from NAFSAIL. So needless to say, it's kind of an impulse buy, but it was cool enough for me to buy it. We'll see how it is. Um, before I get started, I just wanna say thank you to all the channel members. Thank you, thank you. And thanks to any of you all that come in and check out my EDC and knife content. I appreciate you. All I ask is if you're so inclined, if you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon, it really helps me out. So I am going to take my little unboxing knife from Amazon and I'm going to cut into this package without divulging anyone's information and we will see what we have so it's an art form as you guys may or may not know i have one of my earlier real nice knives was an art form slim foot i think it was my first riot made knife um, and this is something totally different, but I'd seen it. I was kind of curious in it, and it was available on AFSEL, so I wanted to try it. And it is the Arc Form Theory, if I'm not mistaken. We'll check the box just to verify that. It is the Theory titanium with satin accents from art form and the first thing i can tell you my first impression of this knife is it's a little bit heavier than i thought very sharp okay i wasn't sure how i was going to like these st studs because they are that kind of odd shape but for either a thumb flick because it doesn't have a rear flipper i don't think it has a front flipper yeah it does have a front flipper i don't know if that is a front flipper but you can front flip it i would never front flip it because i hate front flipping but the reverse flick is really nice the size of the knife is really nice let me grab some paper let's see what we got here Give me just one second, guys. I had it over by the printer. I need to stick it back under here. All right. So the arc form theory, to me, seems like a sharp knife. Kind of a tall, almost more than three-quarter inch flat grind. You've got the satin on the flats. You've got the stonewash kind of cool looking um, bevel or blade. You've got arc form on the show side, M390 on the um, clip side, sharpening choils, a little lame, but you know, that is what it is. It is, now again, this knife, I bought on the secondary, but it has allegedly not been used. Um, maybe for a review, it's very, very slicey. I like slicey knives. As you guys know, that's one of my uh, therapeutic things to do is to set up an Amazon box and a coupon book and just do some cutting. But yeah, guys, the theory is very very that was a cutter error very slicey you've got you've got this forward area which i guess you could call a choil that sits right under that flat and the sharpening choil you know it's not it's not terrible but it has a very unique shape on the blade I didn't realize it had that downturn, um, not that it, it matters, but it is a very refined feeling knife. Very simple. You've got 
two slabs of titanium with very little weight relief. You do have the internal milling for the pocket clip, which I like. You've got, I'm guessing, T8s. T8, whoops. T8s, yeah, you got T8 hardware. Um, literally a pivot and a body screw um, and another body screw. Let's see. Whoops. Interesting. So I guess this is the clip, but I don't think... I don't know if the clip's reversible or not. It doesn't look inset, so it may... I, I don't know. We'll just have to get into it at some point. Nice backspacer. Really nice jimping. You've got jimping, but it's not too harsh on the top of the scale here and also on the, you know, the poon of the knife where your finger's going to rest. I think it's got a really cool, sharp point. You could dig a splinter with it. Um, really good access to the lock bar. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that, but you've got all that area cut out and it just comes very easy to manipulate and open and close. So yeah guys, this is the arc form theory. Um, my second arc form knife. Let me grab the slim foot and then I'll do a couple of size comparisons. So this is my other arc form knife, the slim foot, which I got a long, long time ago. But you can tell it's a little bit smaller. And if we're just doing some size comparisons in my pocket today, I have the Buzz. So it's a bigger knife than the Buzz. And then let's look at the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. Again, this isn't a uh, review. It's just to give you guys an idea of the size knife we're talking about. A little bit smaller than the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. A little bit bigger than the Buzz. So that, guys, is the arc form theory. I am very stoked to have it in my collection. I feel like I got a pretty fair deal on it. And it's a knife that I'd been tempted to buy a couple of times before. Um, I like the heft of it. I'll let you guys know what I think of it when I do my review. Perfectly centered. Um, but yeah, guys, I like it. And I appreciate y'all taking the time out of your day to watch the unboxing. Again, if you happen to watch it today, which is Friday the 15th, I'd love for you to stop by Friday Night Flicks tonight. Look forward to having a lot of time. I'll be there starting at 8.15. But I love each and every one of you. And as I ask, please look out for the guy or gal to your left. Please look out for the guy or gal to your right. Please look out for each other. Go forward with love in your heart. Choose debate, not hate. I love you all. Peace.